So similarly to the event that we just went over using the key down event, there's also such thing as a key press event. And this is using the key ASCII, which is similar to the key code except for instead of using um, uh, that table, they actually use a different table. So we're going to show you that. I actually have that open in Excel right now. There's a nice uh, ASCII uh, code table, uh, which I got from the ASCIIcode.coms.ar. And the first set of codes is a bunch of symbols that are so ancient, it's not even funny. I do not have an acknowledgement key on my keyboard. I don't know if you do. Or a, um, a DLE data link escape. Anyway, all these things are, are boring, so. Number 32 is spacebar. So there are some similarities. Uh, but anyway, you just do if key ASCII equals blah, you know, one of these values. So some people might use something like this. If key ASCII is, uh, greater than, uh, 47, is greater than 47, and less than uh, 58, meaning they only want to acknowledge keys that are numerals, then they might do that. And then, you know, otherwise don't allow, you know, the, the num don't allow the character or don't allow the number to go through, basically override that, the keys that they're pressing. So you could restrict in a text box or something um, what people are typing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but there's a lot of things you can do. It's basically the same concept. You have a range. You have 65 through 90. And for the lower case, is 97 through uh, 122. So you might do if it's between this or between that, then allow the character otherwise, you know, or you might only want numbers. So that's kind of how you can work with that. But otherwise, it's the same concept. And uh, this ASCII table is also going to be available for download uh, with this video. So download that and play around with it. But anyway, Alt F11, same thing here, key press. It's almost identical to the key down. If instead of saying if key code is something, you say if uh, key ASCII is equal to something or is between is greater than this and less than that. If you want a range, you know, only lowercase letters, only letters of any kind or only numbers, you could acknowledge only those characters. So that's how to use the key press event. It's very similar.